Good morning, everyone. Today is the Wednesday of Holy Week, a reading from St. Matthew's Gospel. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it has been written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better if, for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas's betrayer said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Wednesday of Holy Week has always been... Um, known as Spy Wednesday. Growing up, um, I always heard that expression. And it was the day, we believe, that Judas made the deal with the uh, Pharisees, and the scribes, chief priests. The story of Judas is tragic. It's true. And it's tried. I think all of us have tried it to a certain extent. And to the extent that we have lived in separation from God, to the extent that we've lived in competition with God, to the extent that we've lived outside of God, we've tried it. But the tragedy and the true nature of Judas can have power to wake us up to a much deeper truth, to who we really are, and who God in Jesus is. One of the great saints of the church is St. Augustine, and he knew what it was like to live on the outside. In fact, a lot of his life he spent on the outside, and he said, God, you were within and I was outside. And Augustine arrived at a point where he finally realized who he was and who God was. And he had this beautiful prayer. He said, Lord, you are the physician. I am the sick man. My friends, today, on this Wednesday of Holy Week, let us make Augustine's prayer our own and allow Jesus Christ to be the physician of our hearts, of our minds, and our very selves. God be with you.